Like you're actively committing the crime constantly. I I'll tell you right now, I mean, this is just, this is how I operate. I'm a big believer in officer discretion. Mm -hmm. This is the standard. That's how I do things. Howdy, y'all. All right, mate. Hey, Cletus. I I'm Our telling y'all. campaigning. It's been going good. It, it has been Hell going yeah. good. I enjoy seeing y'all's faces here. Absolutely. Like, it's, it's just one of them things where it's you get everybody in a room together and you actually get to talk about important shit. It, it, it's good stuff. Oh, I oh. love it. Yeah, I'm glad to hear it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Y'all, I'm sweating about this election. I'm going to be honest. Welcome to the club. Yeah, You'll I'm, be oh, fine. Election anxiety. What the hell? You'll be fine, don't worry. I mean, shit, I dropped out of that mayor election because I because I trusted y'all. So Correct choice. I, mean, I, th I think it all worked out for the best. I mean, minus the sheriff's office taking five months to open, but yeah, at least it's opening now, so we're, back, we're past yeah, we're that. There. <laughs> First one uh, is legislation uh, specifically focused on hunting. Currently, there is no legislation in place for if someone is arrested in, position, in possession of a hunting rifle without a license. Numerous times when I was a lawyer, I was called down to the cells and someone was charged with criminal possession of a class one, which is an $18,000 fine, and their crime was being in possession of a hunting rifle without a license. So my suggestion would be that we have not only a charge that is relevant to that particular crime, but also maybe a charge for hunting without a license. So it is a sort of two for two. Well, if you possess a hunting rifle and anything. you're not holding up people with it, then you're just hunting without a light. Because, like, what are you going to do with a hunting yeah, rifle? I think, but hunt? Okay, we'll just make a possession of a hunting rifle. Yeah. Uh, percent, I think possession of a rifle is, is probably the best ap option. I would also suggest that be a misdemeanor rather than a felony. I think mm. that's... Uh, uh, again, if someone has a hunting rifle, they've done nothing violent with it, and it's a felony, potentially you are ruining someone's life over so someone handing them a hunting rifle to go take a piss. Inherently, I would agree with you based on what you just said. Mm. The problem is, is if they just go out and get a license legally before they mm. go buy a hunting rifle, you, you got nothing to worry about. I agree with what you're saying, Solomon. The problem is it, it's so easy to not have a hunting uh, a hunting rifle illegally, you know? I'm aware, but there are circumstances where someone could be in possession of one. They've been hunting, hold this, I'm taking a piss. They fall down the hill, they call EMS. Now they're holding a rifle they haven't got a license for. Uh, I mean, possession is possession, okay. right? I mean, it's it's a like you're actively committing the crime constantly. I, I'll tell you right now, I mean, this is, just, this is how I operate. I'm a big believer in officer discretion. I don't think in zeros and ones until I'm at the point of prosecuting mm -hmm. somebody. If I'm at a scene and something like that happens and I take a look at the serial number on that hunting rifle, and I see it belongs to somebody else. Maybe they were downed or, you know, some shit happened, right? I can say, you know what? You're GSR negative. This rifle is your friend's that's right here. I'm not going to give you a charge for this. All right, I just made a misdemeanor. Alex, how much is the hunting license? 4500 That's how much the charge will be for possessing one illegally. That's perfect. Good call. Brilliant. Uh, Cantor. I wanted to restart the discussion if you're open to having it from uh, from last time. I'm assuming your uh, expectations are the same. Yeah, I, I don't think they're unreasonable. In exchange for raising Dr. Pay by a lot the mayor's office would like to see that no felons are allowed to work at the hospital or the with, for the medical group and that every three weeks inactive doctors are fired like how long do you like do you have like a set amount of time that an inactive yes. doctor needs to be what is, what is it right now so we have a minimum hours requirement uh it's relatively low to you know give people a chance to have some time off uh and then yeah. if they do not meet that minimum hours requirement they are marked as inactive for the first month uh if over the next few months they also do not um meet their hours for another month they are fired tactfully and respectfully i think that two months is too long maybe we can compromise Okay. What if a week before new elections start, there is a mandatory purge of people who've been inactive for a certain amount of time? Oh, uh, what amount of time are you thinking? Maybe like a month and a half. I feel like that's a, a fair compromise up from three weeks down from two months. Uh, uh, sure. I, um, I don't think that's incredibly unreasonable, to be honest. I can move it up and just communicate with them that they're being let go before. We kind of do it at the start of every month. I also kind of fuck with the timeline, but we can we communicate with them. I'm not I'm not against it. Cool. Uh, well, if that's the case and you are pledging to do that, then I would love to see that you guys are paid your due. There we go. Okay. Good shit. Woo! I, I will raise it tentatively for now, back up to a thousand where it was. I don't think felon should work at the hospital, just straight up. Mm -hmm. uh, it sounds like you basically agree with me. Uh, so yes. And I spoke with Janetti more about it. Um, he has no issue with it. Why, why don't we work together if there are any of your bosses who are not convinced and uh, try to get them on board with that. If they disagree, I will probably drop it again. But I mean, you already got one third of the board or one fourth, I think, right? Because there's four uh, board one members. Third. There's, there's three currently. Uh, cool. Well, I, I will go raise it right now. Thank you for cooperating and negotiating with me. Um, I appreciate that. Ooh. All right, good Thank shit. You. I'm glad we were oh able to do God, this. That's great. So, so Dr. Cantor, is there is there anything? Yes. I I know you said you're gonna need some help. 
Is there anything mm -hmm. that we can do or, or even I personally can do to, to help support that at all at this point? Uh, I appreciate that, Cornwood. Thank you. I'll, uh, I'll let you know if there is. Um, luckily, I have some amazing staff. Uh, I think uh, there are two people I'm looking to try to get promoted soon that will be willing to help me with this, I'm sure. Uh, so I'll just bug them real quick. Um, yeah, if there's anything we need externally, I will let you know. Thank you. Uh, and thanks for talking to me before this. You, you got me willing to talk, and I appreciate that. Well, absolutely. I'm, I mean, I'm glad I'm glad we were able to, to get these people taken care of. Yes, so. absolutely. Can't Gordon, do you got anything to present? Uh, I have a couple things. Real real brief. Robbery of a financial. This question keeps coming up. Robbery of a financial charge. Uh, it doesn't have kidnapping in it, but it has unlawful imprisonment. It, it doesn't have the word kidnapping in it and people keep getting confused, they keep accidentally stacking. Could we add the actual phrase kidnapping in there in addition to unlawful imprisonment? But a lot of people, for some reason, don't see unlawful imprisonment and kidnapping as an intuitive stack because kidnapping is something significantly more severe than unlawful imprisonment. You know what? I'll just remove it, right? This is an umbrella charge. Okay, I, I know what to do. Don't worry. Okay. Um, doesn't doesn't sheriff voting start today or does it tomorrow? It does. It starts in an hour and fifty three minutes. Ooh, it starts at the end of this meeting. Is what I wrote. Word. Oh, okay. Um, you, got, you got anything else, Cornwood? Um, I might have to talk to Mr. Toe about this, but I thought I'd bring it up in the council meeting regardless. Growing concern about when tow drivers are towing away vehicles that are used in the commission of a crime, their names are listed on the receipt that the registered owner of the vehicle receives. Uh, is there something that can be done with the tow that would show the officer's name who requested the tow instead of the tow driver's name? Because they're getting calls and they're getting threatened. They're basically getting threatened for doing PD tow work. Unfortunately, Wanna that has to exist because you need to be able to document the person who requested the tow and the person who did the tow because let's say, for example, the person who requested requested the tow is the same person that did the tow and that changes the dynamic when it comes to evaluating whether the tow was done illegally etc cetera, etc cetera, et cetera. yeah this was this was what i was worried about could we hide it from the person who who sees it though like it's still documented no, that's privately? the person who needs to see it so they can go to their lawyer and file a lawsuit if it's a police officer that requests the tow and then now the police officer is responsible right they have to be accountable for making sure that they're doing a legal tow on a vehicle putting their name on it as well i i don't like using our capital to request things like that because it's such a small issue that we can we can move on from it yeah we can move on from do it. you know what i mean though like yeah no i i, I see what it is it's uh it's, it's all good do y'all have any idea how we can help to push back on people being threatened and potentially attacked getting a tow request and they just take a job let's say it's just any random worker gets it open tow request and all of a sudden some guy shows up and says oh shit this is this damn gangbangers 9f and this guy's gonna come shoot me whenever i try and impound his car you're never gonna stop that so my advice to those tow workers would be if you see the the fancy car with the underglow uh maybe just cancel the job well then you're worried about getting <laughs> shot you know what i'm saying well, like yeah, I mean, I, I get that, but like, what what happens when all of a sudden nobody wants to take the job? Then PD can fucking drive it over there and fucking impound it themselves. I mean, oh shit, okay, it's, it's not the first or last time that'll happen. Okay, sounds good. You got anything else you want to present, Cornwood? No, that is uh, that is all that I have from my office. I will. Before we move uh, on, I will say, Cornwood, one thing I do highly encourage, though, if you do have people who get held up as tow drivers, it, it is always an option for you to, you know, look into, like, the Ego Act, right? Because, for example, tow drivers could be considered a group. A group, yep. So if one person or one gang continuously holds up tow drivers to get their vehicles back, then push the Ego Act and say that they're targeting tow drivers from doing their jobs. Okay, done deal. Yeah. I still want to do some some talk about a castle doctrine. Have Did we already approve that? That we approved oh, it last you said week. you were going to put language in. This. Yeah, I want to. I want to put the proper language. Time is not of the essence with that one, so I, I, I yeah, don't sure. have it quite ready. So whenever you're ready. Hey, are y'all are y'all coming to the event that I'm hosting? That. We're, we're we're hosting an event at nine in an hour, like like 45 an minutes hour? from now. Yeah, 45 minutes from now. What is it? Kind of like a rally, sort of like Q and A, free drinks, free food. Where yeah. are you doing it at? Uh, L the Lumber Co. showroom. I want to show off what the Lumber Co. has been doing and and oh. put an emphasis on like you know local local businesses and whatnot. And I really want them to get more advertising because a lot of people don't know that they even exist, and it is unbelievable. Oh, I know the what Diva Vale incredible. has done and, and and why it has done as well. Hell, I even put a gun range in there. I asked them to put a gun range in there so you know people can shoot their guns legally. So it's um, all good. I think we should go support Diva if only for no other reason 
then because she saved my life from the chicken man and hid with me for like 35 minutes. I mean, I'd appreciate oh, it. If you, I, I, I really would appreciate it if y'all came. And what's the, what's the turnover typically of these boosts? It's uh, once a month. There boost, isn't. There is not. The issue right now, and I, this is all being worked on, so I don't want to dwell on this because it's not our problem. Yep. The boost went on sale at a specific time, right? Which happened to be after the morning sort of tsunami. So all the booths got purchased and then you can purchase them. I think it's by day, if I'm not wrong. So you can purchase them for a certain amount of money per day. And so some people bought a booth for two months. Some people bought a booth for two weeks, some whatever, whatever, right? Uh, the issue is, is that the booths very rarely go unpurchased or unaccounted for, but inversely frequently are not staffed or open. Uh, so to the, we were just kind of going back and forth with Sean, I don't think we need to be paying like 10K a week for inspections. Uh, so we need to kind of just put a rate that we think is appropriate for how many times these people are actually looking at it instead of like, hey, you keep doing this. Uh, yeah, here's an easy 10 grand. Do we think that a rating of 35 right now would not be uh, right? Because we don't have the, the um, ability to shut anybody down right now do we think that 35 would be sufficient to allow who is operating to continue operating or do we think that it needs to be lower i, I, speak would, up, I, think, I think 35 is low yeah, sorry yeah like the bare minimum 35 is is what is... i think the basic like that's what senior buns has okay i'm making so attention. if you put it at 35 then it would allow for you know inspectors to do their job you know Mm -hmm. in a way that's not yeah. uh restricted by outside forces so you can mm -hmm. still have the back and forth of an inspector telling people hey get your numbers up you're at the bare minimum you know but also not put a booth out of business when we can't afford to do so totally okay cool any other comments questions concerns things that they think we should uh, have um, amended or adopted on this i mean i'll be honest with you maybe somebody already talked about this i, I ain't seen nobody with with food worse than you know at 35 on the uh, uh i don't think i have facts. that's yeah 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 that's that's kind of i've it. seen 20s really have okay you? wow mm -hmm. i actually haven't that's crazy i think the highest i've seen i don't remember i saw like 60 something that was rare. I, had, I had a hot dog that was 62 today we, we had some Ooh. we had some hundred cornwood for sheriff pizzas um, Holy a couple shit, days ago. okay. Mm -hmm. This is the standard. That's how I do things. See, this actually, this could be beneficial, right? Because if they, you know, post how quality their ingredients are, people want that. People will pay more for that. So, mm -hmm. uh, if anything, it is uh, an incentive to uh, increase the quality more so than a punishment if it's bad. So, fuck it. Hey, I'm here for it. Yeah, like I said, I think I think setting it at the minimum is good because it doesn't hamper anything, but it also allows for the sort of, you know, the work to occur. Perfect. Cool. It sounds like this is ready to present to a vote. We, we can always go back and, and amend this, right? Exactly. Okay. If it's not working, yeah, let's we can amend it. it. Let's send it then. Okay, uh, let's put it up for a vote. Yay. Yep. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Um, I'm going to vote no. I think I think the food should be higher quality, the highest quality. You're being contrarian. Okay, <laughs> Murphy. Uh, yeah. All right, on um, me, yay. Perfect. It passes. Man, um, uh -huh. good job. I gotta be well fed. Hell yeah, man. All right, nope, that was everything. All right, cool. I think we're done, everybody. Good work. Really? Oh, I'm about to open the ballot. Hooray! Oh shit! Yay! Oh shit! I'm gonna piss my pants. Yay! Wait, why? Wait, why are you excited about that? Well, I think it's important that you live free, even if that means voiding your bowels. Thank you.